Okay. In our last session, we learned about a uh, new data flow. So in today's session, we are going to learn about the analytical model. Okay. What is this analytical model? So analytical model is nothing but, you know, it is follows a Q, uh, star schema. Uh, in BW terminology, we can call it as a cube also, which follows multidimensional, you know, uh, structure. So which uh, here we can call star schema. So let's learn about this one. So in order to create, you know, uh, in from the data builder by clicking on this, you know, new analytical, uh, analytical model, we can go for the design screen here. Um, in analytical model, we can consume tables or views which are of type analytical data set. Okay, uh, the dimension, text hierarchy, those kind of things we cannot consume here. Only tables which are of type analytical, you know, those only we can consume. So now for that reason, what I am going to show is uh, first before coming to here, I am going to show you one of the analytical uh, data set table. So here we already created one table called DBTA sales one, which is of type of analytical data set. Okay, so in this analytical data set table, um, I am going to show you association because so far we didn't talk about association. So now let's look into that association now. So or else I can create a new table also. Um, before that, what I can do. Mm, okay, so this is the table DA, DPTA sales one, which is of semantic usage analytical data set. Here I have four columns, document number created on material unit, and this unit column I mentioned with semantic type unit of measure and created on I given semantic type as calendar day. On the measure section, I created a quantity column where with, you know, of decimal 17, some ag summation as aggregation behavior and semantic type quantity with unit and I assigned unit field to this one. Okay. So, so far it is common uh, creating in analytical data set in a previous sessions also, we seen how to create attributes and measures in an analytical data set. Now today we are going to discuss about this association. What exactly this association is? Association is nothing but, you know, um, creating a join simply it is uh, nothing but creating a join between a uh, um, join with another table like a foreign key relationship why because we cannot call it as a join simple join also because a join can be performed between a keys key of a table with non-key fields of another table we can perform join but when coming to association we must join with the key of the uh, second you know whichever table i am adding here as an association for example, if you see here, uh, what I did, I went to this plus symbol here, I went to association and I selected uh, one of the table called purchase requisition table as here. Okay, now select this uh, purchase requisition. When I click here, click on OK button, what happens? Now that table comes in, it will come in this way. Okay, scroll down a little bit. Now in the association section, you see business name, this one and technical name from two. So we are creating association from sales table to the purchase acquisition table and the mapping and the important point here is the how we are doing mapping. So the mapping must be done on uh, the uh, second table, whichever two table is there, we must map to the key section of the uh, table. If you, uh, it is very important if you can, um, you know, if you not map to the key part of the, the two table, then you cannot see the columns, other uh, columns from this table. Okay, I did an experiment and it, I, I it came and in the SAP blog also, SAP, you know, help also, it mentioned the same thing. If we, if we see the create an association, here it was mentioned clearly where it was mentioned in analytical data set, uh, where about association, uh, the rules of creating associations depend on the semantic usage of the entity. So an analytical data set point can point to a dimension, one attribute in the source analytical must map to each under dimension key. You see each target dimension key column so that all target key columns are mapped. It means if you map only to the key section of the target, then only other columns can will appear on your analytical model. If you map to a non-key field, then the other fields, you know, uh, the you cannot get the fields of them from the two table. So I hope you understand. So now we mapped it properly. Then what next? 
so after mapping it now if you can go back you can create these kind of associations multiple also i'm deleting one because uh, i already created one with the same kind of properties so i'm removing the second one you can create here at the same time you can create a text association also select the text association and um, i have a text table here so i'm going to select the text table so our text material and click on ok when clicking on text association uh, here also i mapped from material to material here okay i have language and description and language also key but uh, i don't have option to perform uh, this one in order to do this what i need to do i need to you know create one uh, extra column in my attributes with the uh, e value and with that i need to do this one but leave it like this as of now okay uh, i did the association for my text table also i am going one step back by going step one step back you can see what are the different associations we are, you know we have here so one is with the purchase inquisition another one is the material text now uh, what i am doing i am saving this one and then i will deploy this deploy so while deploying it is important whether it is it throwing any error messages or not while deploying warning messages so deploy is in progress and once it is complete i will get a notification deploy was successful so it will take you know 10 to 20 seconds for the deployment yeah okay deployment was successful so now what happened so now this analytical data set a kind of table i can consume in my analytical model so i am creating a new analytical model so that name which i am going to give is because it is in data builder i am giving db underscore uh, analytical model am i am giving and then sales underscore r3 i am giving like this okay uh, or else uh, sales 3 i can give like this and then from table section i am going to consume my uh, dbta sales one table so when i when i drag and drop here because it is an analytical data set it is coming you know it is showing here now from here i need to i, can, I want to add all the attributes of my analytical of my analytical data set and measures from my table and the associations so currently uh, there is a uh, doc we have purchase association created and we create one text association also but text association is not appearing here it will be by default comes okay now click on import button so now when you click on import you can see a diagram in this way so as i said it is like a star schema and uh, which contains one fact table you cannot add more fact tables means you cannot add any other um, analytical uh, table into this data flow if we have already this one okay now this particular table was uh, associated with one of the document number right so as i said if i click on this uh, dpta sales one here i can see association document number and when i click on this document number then i can see the underlying attributes of this one you see purchase requisition okay so now when i click on this uh, fact table i can see under measures i have quantity which is coming from my table and these are the dimensions coming from my fact table and uh, uh, from the association purchase equation is coming so like this we can see it like this if we have multiple associations uh, you can uh, see all those uh, you know which is mapped from here okay now finally what i am doing i am clicking on uh, you know save button and then i can uh, but deploy later uh, and in our trial version uh, i am facing a problem that i cannot do the data preview of analytical model okay i don't know the reason i tried multiple times but somehow uh, i am not able to get the data preview here so sorry for i am not able to seeing that one okay so i am trying to deploy it now so this uh, data preview will contain all the columns which is coming from the table and also from this uh, purchase equation column will come because it is an analytical model i can consume this analytical model in my business layer and even in the sec so it was deployed successfully when we click on this preview then we can see the data preview of this analytical model uh, it will come with key figure aggregation behavior on the left hand side i can see you know this uh, whichever columns and rows i am available here in my analytical model so that's it because it is